Hello guys, this is Nitin Power. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn about how you can do the validations between two different files using Databricks. Now consider that in ADF, I have a job which will load the data from source to landing, landing to backup. So what I did, this job is already run and I have the files which are populated under my landing folder and then then I have the backup these are the two containers in which my file has been already loaded so now what I want to do I want to validate the data between these two files so how I can do that so I go to my Databricks so in my previous video I will already discuss how you can connect your container to your Databricks so I won't go into that details if you want to know about that you can go to my previous videos and watch that so here what I'm doing I'm directly giving a path to my file name which is under landing as a path new variable then I'm creating a data frame using spark.read.csv here I'm giving this path where the file is and then header equals to true infer schema equals to false multi-line true and the separator once I done this a data frame is created which hold the structure then what I'm doing I'm creating the temporary view path new on that so if you run this you'll see that your data frame is created and now on this view you can perform your SQL operation so once you created a view then how you can access the data from that view you use the percent SQL sign then I'm doing the select count from this path new so I want to know the what is the data count in that file so if I run that I'm getting that that my file has 1,88,653 records okay so this is how this is the one way using the spark.read.csv you can view your file data there is another way using the same again you provide the path give it as a proper name I am giving here the folder location dp underscore trans then create a data frame using SQL context dot read dot format you have to provide the format what format our file is csv format so csv dot option header equals to true yeah that file has header you want to infer the schema which is present in that file yes multi line equals to true separator pipe separator then dot load you have to provide your path name again here what i am doing creating the temporary view landing vb and providing it as a dp customer transactions so once you done that so how you can read the data percent sql select count star from this landing pb this is my view created on this particular data frame so this is the one way and another way is like our previous way spark.read.csv it's up to you which way you want to use it both way you will get the same count 1,88,653 so this way you will get you will read the file you get the count now I want to find the duplicates in that record or not so for the duplicate you need to find out the distinct columns and then take count of those group by those diff distinct columns having count greater than one if you run there if your file have duplicate records so you will get that records over here in my case query returns no result it means that I don't have any duplicates for this particular set of columns so this is the way you can find the duplicates then what I want to do I have like my job ETL job what it done it pick up the file and from landing it will load to the my backup so in my backup I have this file so what I am doing again I want to read the file so here again I am providing the backup file path name 
reading the file using SQL context or read dot format, providing the format CSV dot options, different options are there. Based on your file format, you can provide those. Then dot load and giving these folder location. And I'm creating the temporary view on top of that data frame. So once you've done that, again, like you can take the count. So you can see that my count is 5008, but my landing file. So what landing is doing? My landing file is having all the records from the source, but my backup is having only the latest records, which match as per the conditions. But my Delta will have the same set of records as per the landing. So, so how you do the validations? So between two, these two files, I'm using percent SQL. I'm selecting the set of columns from the backup minus set of columns from landing. So I said query returns no results means all the rows which are present in the backup are present in the landing file. But if I file vice versa, I'll get more records because my backup file only have 5000 records and my landing file has more than like 1.8 lakhs records. So, but and uh, once you've done that, what I'm doing over here, I have the Delta file. So we go, what Delta files is having all the records. So if you want to compare the set of records between source and the Delta, then I can do that. So how to read the data from the Delta. So I'm providing the Delta path as where the Delta resides, Delta files. Then if you print the backup path, so you'll get that path for the Delta. Then I'm using the latest version because in the Delta will have many versions available. What I want to do, I want to take the latest versions from my history Delta and take that particular file. And then on top of it, I want to read that and create the temporary view. So how I'm doing it, I'm select. So here I'm doing latest version spark.sql select max version from describe history delta dot format this path backup delta path dot collect. So here I'm getting the latest version. Then I'm creating the data frame using spark.read.format. Here I'm providing delta. Previously, if you remember, we have that CSV. Then I'm using the option version of as of then latest version I'm selecting and I'm loading from this particular data path and creating the temporary view backup delta on top of it. So once you have done that, I'm selecting the count from both landing and backup delta. Select count star from row count from landing, union all, select count star from row count as backup delta. So here, if you see that I'm taking the count from both the tables, so now you can see that my count is matching. So my Delta table and my landing table have the same set of records. So this way, like if you want to validate between the two different files, take the count, perform SQL operation on top of it, you can do that either using SQL context.read.format or using normal your CSV file format, reading the data from the spark.read.csv so this is how you can do that your data validation also using your databricks if you have any questions on this do let me know i'll try to answer those questions meanwhile take care thank you so much